All right, with Nick Vanette on his way back, uh, look like he's finally getting healthy. A tight end to add to this roster. I did a, a game film breakdown on him months, months ago, maybe like my first week in the channel. So this what this is. Uh, if it's trash, hey, man, give me a break. It was like my first week on YouTube. But, yeah, check him out right here. Like I say, old video. Hope you enjoy it. All right, y'all. Welcome back to the Boot Tragedy. Today we're going to look at Nick Vanette. I know I'm a little later on him. Sank signed him a while ago. But, yeah. See, unlike most people, I'm not going to go, you know, review a highlight tape. Anyone can look good on a highlight tape, you understand? So, I actually like to look at game film, play by play, find some things. And coming into it, I heard he was a good blocker, solid hands. Nothing special, but he gets the job done. And so, I've took a look, I took a look at this um, Panthers game. This was his best game, you know, of the year. Four catches, 40 yards, and a touchdown. Let's just see what we can, uh, you know, find out about him. All right, this first play we're going to look at. Slow three yard game, Melvin Gordon. All right, see, I think this may be the only play where I have something negative to say about him. That's how good he played this game. All right, he's he's right here. Boom, it's a solid double team. If you pause that, double team here. They're running the great play. They're pulling the, I think that's the guard. They're pulling the tight end. So everyone's accounted for here. See, boom, he's accounted for. That tackle's going to get to the second level. Tight end's pulling here. He's getting to the second level. And the one block that's missed. He's not, he didn't miss it, but he let the guy rip inside of him. And boom, if he block him, that hole there, Melvin Gordon, it's one-on-one -on -one with the safety. So good play design. Kind of missed a block, you know, on second and seven right there. Got three, four yards, which, I mean, sometimes you take. But if he, he actually, you know, converts that block, then they, they're looking at a, a very, very good play right there. Got another play. This Philip Lindsay. Lindsay. One thing I did notice, the Broncos just, just were not good, honestly. This is a very bad team, to be honest. Right, I love this play right here. Like I said, I don't really care about the how much yards the running back are getting on these plays because the Saints offensive line is much better. But let's just watch this guy. Watch this. This is what you need from a tight end right here. I don't care about these guys missing blocks. Look at this. You take this. Drive his ass out to play. This is what I like. Look, lift him up off the ground. You saw that for a little second? Oh, yeah. See, I love, I love stuff like that. Watch both feet come up off the ground. Look at this. Like a little baby. Get here. Get off the ground. It's perfect blocking right there. Perfect blocking. And what I've noticed, he's he's a great a great asset in play action. He blocks so well that you know he becomes a threat off play action because most most people that he's blocking is afraid of how how well he blocks. This is prime example right here. Eight yards first down. Watch it from the back angle, which give us a better a better view. Watch him. This is this is nice. He's such a good blocker that boom, he gets here. Fakes the block. Boom. Perfect release. Throws him. He's beat. Boom. Get up field. Get the first down. With lock with a, you know, let this ball go. Lock after this play action, boom. You see this, you have to throw this ball to him. I don't know what he's waiting on. Takes a couple extra steps, almost three extra steps before he goes. Before he throws it, he throws it here. My man actually has time to get up field even more. That turns that eight yards probably to 15, you never know. Small things, the small things. But that's a great play, and it's, it's basically, basically all, you know, predicated off how well he blocks. All right, now, I'm only going over the first half of him because this first half is real, real good. And I think I got enough to kind of, you know, drive the point home. All right, see this play. Oh, man, Melvin Gordon. He sold him out to dry here. Watch this. All right. Obviously, the back angles for the O-line and tight ends are going to give you better, you know, a better sight of what's going on. Oh, man. Watch this. I missed the slowdown button. Here we go. 
Boom. Perfect. Oh, see, first we got to get the, we get the chip here. Boom. Get the chip here until you get to the second level. Got the chip on him. Boom. Perfect. Now he's going to get him because you're giving him time to get there. Boom. Perfect. Now just wait. Boom. Perfect. Melvin. Hold up. Melvin. 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 Melvin Gordon. That's your hole. That's, that's where the play is designed for. You hit this hole. Hit this hole. Come on now. You guys are setting up your blocks perfect, but you jump outside here. Look at this. This is where you want to go. This is where you want to squeeze, get tight. You're in the safety once again. Come on now. But great blocking. I don't really care what Melvin's doing. I trust Ack. I trust our line. But that was that was great blocking there. He just has to hit that hole. Has have to be patient. Have to hit the hole. All right, here's a third and one. I don't think they converted. But I have this play marked for some reason. I don't actually remember. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is great. It's third and one. This is a kind of a stretch play ish, but I don't you know. Shotgun, yes, definitely a little zone. And the, it's it's designed for for them to get a cutback. So this is actually a great block by him. Boom, he cuts back off it. This guy just misses his block, which derails this entire play. So yeah, this is a perfect perfect block. They got the linebackers going this way, line going this way. Third and one, the players decide to get up in here, cut back, just get a yard. Who's that? I don't know who that receiver is. But boom, uh, he misses him. Can't have that. Can't have that. I trust the Saints receivers to actually get there. This guy was not would not be a factor on third and one. If he can actually just, if he can cut back here, if this guy's unblocked and pushed, washed out the way, he'll get his yard easily. Nope, he has to psh, run clean into him. It's unfortunate. I think that's Hamilton, if I can guess correctly. Boom. But that's great block by Nick once again. You take that for the Saints. We take that every time. We take that every time. Great play design. Just a receiver. Left him out to dry. Boom. I want to put this in here because... Obviously, he's a good run blocker, but, you know, sometimes the tight end has to stay in and block. Some of these DNs and outside linebackers, they put the tight end, mo tight end in motion. This is a basically a D-tackle here. You know how 3-4. Perfect. One-on-one -on -one with him. You like that. You like that. You love it. It's one-on-one. One-on-one. -on -one. Yes, sir. I wonder if that's Derrick Brown. I'm not sure what number Derrick Brown is, but... It may be Derrick Brown. If that's Derrick Brown, that's a, what, number nine pick in the draft? Number nine pick in the NFL draft? And we got a tight end, one-on-one -on -one with him. I don't know if that's him or not, so. But either way, that's one-on-one -on -one with a D-tackle as a tight end. Getting hands to the face, all of that. One-on-one, -on -one, pass block. Great. You take that every time. You would take that from a tight end. If you can get a tight end on a defensive lineman and wins his one-on-one -on -one battles, man, man, oh, man. Love that. I would love it. So the eight yard eight yard pass to him, seven yard pass to him, I believe. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. On first and ten you take seven yards a hundred times out of a hundred. Alright, watch. Like I said earlier, his entire like his entire route tree is predicated on him pass blocking. Like look at this. I mean on him yeah, run blocking. This is beautiful. He dives down, makes sells a great, great fake. Boom. Good war. So he's confused, thinking it's run, thinking it's run. Boom. About time he gets here, this guy's toast. Like the other linebacker is basically step for step with him. And if you can get that, psh, you're, you're, that's great. Like, look where this linebacker starts compared to him. Look, look at the space. Look at the space here from your linebackers. Look at the space here. Boom. He's reading run. He's reading run. He's selling it. He's selling it. Boom. Now look at the space between those linebackers. From where it started to where it is. Look at this. You got two guys in that same spot. 
and you're four yards clear. Boom, good catch. Wish he had more time to get upfield, but you take seven yards on first down. So that's a great play from him right, from him right there. Like I said, this won't be too long of a video, so just bear with me. Bear with me here. It's a nice little six-yard game. Sometimes I forget why I have these plays marked. I'll assume it's him right here. Boom, great double team. Yes, that's exactly why I have this play marked. Oh, mine, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. We need some of this at the tight end position. Jared Cook didn't give us this. Josh Hill doesn't give us this. Troutman doesn't give us this. This is a beautiful boom. We're paying them here. Great. It's great. That's just beautiful. I like that. And boom, he gets off. And then you can hold your own after that. You don't need the help anymore. You got him. That's, that's good football. That's good football. I love that. Oh, I love that. I know most people don't like watching, you know, offensive line highlights and blocking highlights. But, I mean, that's what makes the team go. You've seen the Saints when the, when the offensive line breaks down. It's ugly back there. So as much as it's not, it's not the sexy thing to watch. It's it's what you need. It's what you need. This is nothing major here. It's just a little catch from him. So I just you know marked it just to put it in. Nice. He just own coverage. Nothing major. Sits down in it. Maybe he could have run his route a little deeper. I don't know what, it, what the exact depth. You can see it better from this angle. Right here. I'll back this up one more time. But three, four yards first down, eh. No one wins, no one loses. You take, you take positive yards. Off the line here. He knows his zone, his zone, boom, stick. I wish he'd have ran that a yard deeper because he's dropping. So you catch that around right here. But still in all, good play. You take three, four yards on it. Nothing, you know, nothing major. Just a, just a nice little play. All right, this is the last play we'll go over for him for today. I'll try to watch some more of his games later. Goal line, first and two. Obviously, it's a, it's heavy, power set, strong. Everyone's in here. Three, four tight end, all linemen, because I think they don't really have a full back. I think that's kind of like a, a H back tight end type guy. And once again, this is a touchdown from him. Well, let's watch the play first. Let's just watch it. Boom, wide open back here. Good hands. I shouldn't take good hands right there because you're an NFL receiver. You better catch that. All right, let's watch it. Let's watch that first angle back, actually. He's here. Once again, everything's predicated off this off this blocking from him because he's such a good blocker. He sells it well. Boom. Sticks him. Twists. The guys that are just, I don't know. Actually, this is more bad Panthers than good him. But anyways, they all fell for the play action. Runs a good route. Give space in the back of the end zone, which some people forget to do. You give space in case you need to drift. Actually get two feet down. Boom. Good throw, good catch, super easy. Just watch the last angle. <clears throat> Boom. These linebackers are biting hard, biting hard, which I get. I don't know who's manning him. I would assume it's the furthest outside guy, so maybe it's maybe it's him. Yes, it's definitely him. And he's lost. Look, oh, where's my guy? Where's my guy? Yep, he's back here, buddy. He's back here. I don't even know why he got so lost. He's not even like, maybe he thought he was just spent around by that guy. Maybe that's part of his, you know, nonsense. But, yeah, he's he's really, he has him if he, you know, actually does his job. But he doesn't. Boom. Leaves wide open. Touchdown. He tried to get back. It's unfortunate for him. So, what I've seen from him, obviously, he's a great blocker. Well, I won't call him great just yet. I've only seen one game, basically, of him. I watched the rest of this game, but nothing really stood out. It's kind of the, more the same. So he's a good blocker, pretty good blocker, has good hands. Didn't see a drop. Only, like I said, four catches here, so not going to see as great hands. But 
I can see that he's not going to wow anyone. He's, he's a guy that's going to finish the game with two catches, 17 yards, maybe a red zone threat, but he's going to block his ass off and things like that. So I actually think he'll make this team. You know, some of these offseason signings, you never know if they're going to actually make the team. They're just training camp spots. But I think he's actually a guy that's going to make this team. He's a good blocker, good catcher. You know, he does everything well. Probably hop on special teams and things like that. So, I mean, thanks for tuning in to another, you know, another film breakdown of um, – a new Saints player. Uh, follow me, The Boot Tragedies, on Twitter if you would like. If you don't don't have a Twitter, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. If you made it this far, thank you for watching this video, man. And I look forward to, you know, doing a little breakdown on more players, you know, uh, this offseason. Can't wait for the draft to come and things like that. You'll see very much, much more from me. Much, much more. Like I said, thank you all for tuning in. And I'm out.